Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're far too kind. Uh, yeah. Ready? Uh. All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Master, and um, today I will be showing you a rigid body desktop background tutorial because I like make making intros and stuff. But um, so I had to make the video double speed because um it would have been way too long it was like 12 minutes or something because i was just mucking around but um you know still a tutorial so yeah um so basically what it's gonna be it's gonna be a few cubes with uh a text with a rigid body tag and what's gonna happen is the text is gonna fall onto the um it's gonna fall onto the uh cubes and make it look proper and stuff and then um i have global illusionation and ambient occlusion in but i go through the render settings real quick so you don't really get to see much um again sorry about the speed um as i said it would have been way too long but um you can just slow it down if you want if you have to see something again but yeah basically it's gonna look exactly like it is in the screenshot um yeah it it looks nothing like it now because it's um i took about three minutes to get to the point of what i actually wanted to do so here i quickly you know fly through the render settings but you know and um so yeah i got that basically it's a pretty standard um, render settings so I wouldn't worry too much about that um, it's really the materials and the uh, rigid body that I want to stress so um, I have about five cubes uh, spheres sorry and um, I place them how I sort of want my um, text to fall like I don't I don't want it just, you know, falling and sitting. I really want it to mess it up and stuff like that. But um, there's other ways you can do that with, like, the FFD, the Freeform Defauna and all that, and the Polygon, uh, Poly FX. And, um, but it's probably the easier way, just with rigid body. It's my first uh, Cinema 4D R12 um, tutorial, so I'm not really that good at it. So, um... At the moment, I just grouped the objects, so it's a bit easier for you guys to see. So i got my planes and my spheres. I always use plane. I don't like the floor. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. And um, the text that I actually use, I download. I downloaded from uh, defont.com. Pretty good website. Um, definitely worth um, checking out. It's called, that one's called Amsterdam Graffiti. There's a lot of good ones, too. But anyway... um. So basically I'm showing you here uh, where you want to position your text to start off with to make it fall. And um, I do suggest you use ambient occlusion and um, the other one that I, global illumination. I do recommend you use that one too because um, that does help. And as you can see when I render it just now it looks really sloppy. And um, the ambient occlusion and global illumination fixes all that. So um, once you got your text and all that, you want to have your materials on and everything's ready, and you want to go to um, put a rigid body tag on and make sure it's on like I don't know compound or something. I can't remember. But anyway, um, you want to make your text editable, and you want to take out all the letters. Because um, once you do that, it's going to be um, really hard. As you see coming up here, I um, play it and it just drops and falls over like that. And that's really not what I want. That does look horrible. So I've what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through each individual letter and um, put a rigid body tag on, which will basically separate it all. But um, as you see, it's pretty... You can basically get what I'm doing, even though it is sped up, but yeah. 
Um, by the way, with global illumination, you must have a light in your... Whatever it is, you must have a light in your... I don't know what you call it, your scene, I guess. And then, um, otherwise it's pitch black. And um, as you can see there, my text falls pretty good, I must say. So I'm just clicking frame by frame till I find what, um, what, how I want it really. And then I put the light up. And as you can see, the reflections are really disgusting. So I changed it a bit. Still looks terrible, it just doesn't match at all. So, um, a nice, I put in a, uh, like a purpley color, which seemed to work with the global illumination, as you'll see at the end and at the start of the video. But, um, yeah, the global illumination works. Um, ambient occlusion, you gotta have a bit of contrast on it, otherwise, it doesn't work either. And, um, that's a mistake a lot of people make. So, yeah. As you can see, it's rendering up here quite nicely. And um, you'll see I no longer have those reflections underneath, and it's pretty nicely done, if I say so myself. But, uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe, all that, and uh, let me know what you want.